uh, here for a conversation about um, the fiscal and financial needs of the of the city, um, and uh, and a concerted effort uh, to get the financial affairs of the city in order. Again, Mr. Mayor, congratulations on your uh, on your election, and uh, I know I speak for all of uh, the visitors here from Beacon Hill uh, in saying that we are uh, very very excited about your. Uh, upcoming administration and look forward to working closely with you in partnership. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, like, is there is there one thing you told the governor today that's your most pressing need here? What area did you tell the governor you most need help in? Y yes, I did. Uh, not just one area, but many areas that are very, very significant. And uh, we're going to be making that public when everything is said and done and we're ready to roll at the beginning of the year. I don't think it will be proper to elaborating what our plan is to move forward when that plan is not 100% completed. We're working on partnership as the governor expressed, and I think it would be better if some of the detail are left to that time when everything is set to go. What's, right. Mr. Mayor, like, what, what's the size of the problem the city faces as you see it? How many millions of dollars? And it, it, it depends on who's counting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that's one of the reasons why we don't want to uh, mislead the press or anybody giving you a number that is not 100 percent specific. Uh, we're still looking at the book. We're still talking to people who know some of the problem. I will remind you, I was elected. I am not yet the mayor, so I'm not entitled to some detail that I would like to have before me to give you a specific answer. So we are not dancing around the question. It's just that I don't want to give you a number that is not a specific, and then having you come back to me and say, Willie, what you tell us is not proper. So we right away get everything in the book. Our presence here is not to create any any negative news or to point finger to anybody to find solution to the problems we have today. If you were like saying that you were gonna be polishing the details of these plans in the following days, what are the general in general terms, which ones will be the solutions that are on the table at this point? Repeat the question <laughs> in general terms. <laughs> You're going to be polishing these details, right, within the yes. next few days. Yes. We know the problem, but which ones are the solutions that this, what can the state do for the city at this point? When, when you have a deficit as big as the one we have, there is not a single thing that is not significant. Mm -hmm. That in itself explains how serious the problem is. So any, any, anything on the, 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 uh, the uh, uh, any service that's rendered by the city, uh, it is significant. And it, is, it, is, it will be affected by the situation that we have today if we don't find a solution. And that's why we're here today. So I will not give you any specific because of what I said earlier. We're still looking at detail uh, so that when we come before you, hopefully soon, we will be more uh, clear about some, some of the stuff that we need to present to you.